How's it going, everybody? Mr. Holton here. Finally, finally, Larian released patch six for Baldur's Gate 3. And in regular fashion, we're just going to go through the patch notes. I'm going to go through the highlights. I'm not sure if I'm going to have the time to go through all of the fixes here because this patch, this update is absolutely massive to say the least. Okay, so here's a little overview on their official Twitter where it says easier companion dismissal, uh, new unique and randomized kisses. <laughs> I think the kissing stuff is probably the, the most hyped up thing about this patch. Uh, more honor mode legendary actions, new idle animations that camp, bug fixes, quality of life improvements, and more. And if we go to the official patch, patch notes, we get, of course, this huge image of uh, our two favorite companions here, Lazel and Shadowheart, having a little smoochy time. <laughs> All right, so patch six now live. Ah, two days after Valentine's Day, Cupid has shot his arrows, the chocolates have gone on sale, and the flowers have started to wilt. The perfect time to release a patch. And gotta say, you cheeky bastards over at Larian, man. You guys really had us going there on Valentine's Day. I was fully expecting it to release. But then again, you know, they never actually said that we're going to release the patch on Valentine's Day. It was just an assumption from the community because of the response to a joke tweet. Anyway, patch six for Baldur's Gate 3 launches today, and it's packed full of quality of life improvements, fixes, and a little bit of romance. <laughs> On with the show. Love is in the air. We get a very good looking tab here, making out with uh, Shadow Heart, uh, which is, uh, well, that's, uh, wow. Watch out for garlic breath. <laughs> We've made improvements to locking lips with your chosen romantic partner. All characters now have unique kisses that reflect their personality. No shit, really? With an emphasis on the plural, these kisses are randomized and very from the incredibly romantic to a little more intense. <laughs> Kisses have also been improved for shorter and taller body types, so embrace without delay. Dude, this is crazy. The um, the idea that they've they've gone so hard on updating the kissing animations, that's just wow, that's crazy to me. Like Larry, and you guys are you guys are insane in a good way. Uh, a forehead kiss for tender moments or for when there's a little bit of food stuck to your eyebrows. <laughs> Jesus. In addition to improved smooches, we've also improved some of our endgame cinematics to better reflect the connection between players and their partners. Love truly has been in the air in the office, or perhaps it's something in our air fresheners. <laughs> I think it's all the success you guys are bathing in. No, but honestly, this is really cool. And this is one of those things that I think a lot of Bioware fans are going to love because that is super important to a lot of people who have played, uh, you know, Dragon Age and Mass Effect is the, the bond you share with your squad mates and your companions. Like, this is going to make it feel like you have a like a much more closer connection to your, your chosen love interest. And I, I'm all for it. Every whittle helps new camp animations and improvements. Even more, you know, idle things to make the characters feel more alive. Keep at it, Hells. And whilst exploring your campsite, you'll notice new idle animations for some of your companions. Not everyone enjoys standing around, and these behaviors should help your campsite feel more alive. Though we wouldn't interrupt Shadowheart when she's polishing her spear. <laughs> Uh, in addition, you'll now be able to dismiss a party member while speaking to the party member you want to replace them with. So no more going back and forth like a Machiavellian party planner. This is a really cool, uh, you know, quality of life update because that is also something that I constantly was a little bit annoyed by. Well, not really annoyed, but it was kind of tiring to go back and forth to, you know, recruit one member to your party and then have to tell the other one, oh, yeah, I'm just going to leave you behind. And then I'm going to go over here and invite, for example, Shadow Art back into the team. Yeah, this is really cool. So you just don't have to waste time running back and forth. Uh, improvements and fixes galore. And there we have a little clip from, I presume that is honor mode. Have fun. Patch six isn't all ambiance and canoodling though we've fixed a deluge of player reported issues shield bash fans rejoice and made several tweaks and improvements to the game so yeah in case you don't know what that means is that shield bash as an ability has been fixed with regards to saving throws uh, if you're playing honor mode expect a few extra surprises in the form of new legendary actions for bosses and maybe a bit of extra trouble from a certain mound. Good luck with that one. We've also made some improvements to speaker selection. When dialogue triggers auto- oh my god, this- this is huge. This is important. 
This is really important. When dialogue triggers automatically, the game will now try to prioritize your avatar as the main speaker. So your party members should have less main character syndrome when clearly you're the star of the show. So in case I need to clarify here, a lot of the time when you're playing Baldur's Gate 3 and you have a conversation or like a conversation triggers with an NPC, a lot of the time your, your companion is the one who gets to have the limelight. So they're speaking to, for example, Lazel or someone else <laughs> instead of you when you're like the main character with your tab, right? And that's something that always annoyed me. So now it supposedly means that triggering conversations or if your companion triggers a conversation, like Lazel, for example, she isn't the one who's having the conversation, but you are, your tab or dark urge or the character who's the main character, so to speak. Uh, we continue to work on future updates to Baldur's Gate 3 with further improvements, fixes, and patches yet to come. But before we dive into the full highlights for patch 6, a warning about mods. As I always say, remember, you might have to like uninstall all of them or at least, you know, just move them over to an inactive order state because yeah, your, your save game is probably not going to work anymore. If you experience issues after installing our latest update, please check whether the issue persists with mods uninstalled. Currently, mods aren't officially supported, so some mods may cause temporarily incompatible or become temporarily incompatible with new patches and hotfixes. If you continue to have issues after uninstalling all mods, yes, even that one, please reach out to our support team. That doesn't seem to work all the time either. As I mentioned, usually I have to make an entirely new save because a lot of mods just kind of break the game in a way, like a lot of mechanics. So uh, yeah, just have that in mind. It's not officially supported yet, but it probably will be. Uh, patch 6 will be going live today on PC, PlayStation and Xbox and will require approximately 150 gigabytes of free space <laughs> to install for those playing on PC and Steam Deck. If you find yourself with without the space to install the update, we recommend uninstalling BG3 and re-downloading the patched version. Now, the, the, the size of the actual uh, patch or update isn't actually 150 gigabytes. It just needs that as free space to update the game. I think it was approximately like 25 to 30 gigs, like the actual update, which is pretty big, but this is just, you know, the, the download and installing portion, so to speak. So it doesn't take up 150 gigs all the time. Don't quote me on that. We know Mac players will be keen to get their hands on with the latest fixes and improvements, but we'll have to ask that you sit tight for a little longer while we continue to work on bringing future updates to Mac alongside PC versions. We truly appreciate your pa patience and are sorry for the inconvenience. No problem, Larry. And I think most Mac people understand. They're trying to make this work for so many different platforms. You can just just do anything but compliment them on that. Uh, we'll keep you updated with our progress, so make sure you're following on Twitter and Facebook to see when patch 6 will drop for you. I'm gonna try my best here to avoid spoilers, but let's look through some of the highlights. You can now dismiss a recruited companion from your party while speaking to the companion you want to replace them with. When a dialogue triggers automatically, the game will now try to prioritize your avatar character as the main speaker. Your partner now has a few different kisses. They're brand new, unique, and randomized. And we've also made improvements to how kisses look across the board, particularly for taller and shorter body types. I'm so looking forward to trying this out. Okay, this one is a spoiler. I'm just gonna, you know, blur that one. This one is also a spoiler, so I'm gonna skip that. This one is also a spoiler. <laughs> If you sit on the stool in Shadow Art's camp corner, she will now react to you with a line based on your relation with her. Ooh. Uh, added new idle animations for some companion at camp. Lazel studying a Githyanki disc. Minthara contemplating a skull, tending to mushrooms, expressing violence, adjusting her armor, plotting her future, and being bothered by the sun. <laughs> Jahera sitting, kneeling, and whispering to a rat messenger and whittling. Okay, Minsk cooking and shaving his head. These are two separate animations, although we wouldn't put it past him. He's not, in fact, cooking his head. What? <laughs> Shadowheart polishing the Spear of Night. Halson Whitley. If you start your game on a set difficulty, you can now switch to custom mode, except when already playing honor mode. Fixed an issue that would prevent travel between acts. Fixed an issue causing quick saves to fail to upload to cross saves. Characters in the epilogue camp party will now have fitting titles below their names. Oh, interesting. Fix the shield bash and rebuke of the mighty passives not triggering saving throws. Oh, that's up here. Right, there it is. Added light bar colors for the dual says controller on PC. Nice. Okay, I'm gonna 
blur this one, but th this one, that's a cool addition. Fixed graphics settings not being applied for some 4K monitors. Fix the crash on Xbox that would sometimes occur when starting or ending a game. As in usual fashion, I can't really go over all of the things that they've added here, but as you can see here, it's just a massive patch again. It's it's so huge. Look at all these, look at all these updates. Look at all the, uh, like, this is going to take me a week. <laughs> weeks at least to go over all of these things they've done and added to the game. So remember, if you want to check out the patch notes yourself, you can do so in the description below. I will be adding it to the comments, of course. But do remember that this is pretty spoilery. So if you've already played the game, that's good. Then you can dive right into it. But if you haven't played through Baldur's Gate 3 yet, I would probably hold off from reading the patch notes because there's a lot of spoilers here. Just to kind of give you an idea of some of the updates here, we're going to check out some official footage that Larian released, of course. Here we have a... Uh... <laughs> A very spicy scene if you're playing as our favorite magician and you're romancing our favorite vampire. Jesus Christ, this is way too spicy. I'm like, I have one, <laughs> one profile where I have a female tab where I'm going to romance Asterion. Jesus. Is that okay? I wonder... Oh, you are perfect every time. Wow, that was very intense. Jesus, I haven't seen that one before. I've, hold off, like, I've been holding off from watching these because I've been waiting for this patch. That was, that was pretty crazy. And then we have Lazel and Shadowheart, of course. Let's check that out as well. I suppose you've earned it. This is so weird. They're like arch enemies. Are you kissing her armor? What the hell? Jeez. Dude. That was Larian, you crazy bastards. Imagine updating the game with these free new things. And it's already been out for what is it, like half a year or more. Wow. I'm just blown away by Larian. Like a favorite game studio, hands down. <laughs> okay, so that's going to be it for today. Remember to start downloading this patch as soon as you can because it's a pretty beefy download. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel for all your Baldur's Gate 3 and RPG news. And yes, I will start covering Dragon's Dogma 2 the more we approach the release of the game. All right, have a great weekend, guys. Mr. Alton, signing out.